Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Our next guest is already dialed up, Sir Stefan Oostendorp. How are you doing today? Tell us a little bit about eye staging and the VRAR content creation technology y'all are working on. Yes. Hey, uh, how are you? Thank you so much for having us. Oh, absolutely. Not often that we get to talk to a sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so um, my name is Fawn and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with iStaging. I'm the business development manager of iStaging. And uh, like you said, we are an augmented and virtual reality company. But mainly we enable people to um, uh, create, build, uh, um, host, and ultimately share virtual experiences. Uh, really quickly and really easily. And uh, so you can imagine if you are trying to actually do a virtual exhibition, if yeah. you are in a, if you have a retail store that you want to put online and uh, enable people to, to visualize and visit, if you yeah. are a, a, a realtor uh, um, and you want to sell a property, um, if you're a university and you want to host a virtual open day, all of that stuff is possible with, with our platform. Um, and I think one of the one of the exciting things this year with CES is that we're not only an exhibitor, but for the we're actually a Taiwanese company. So for um, uh, the Taiwan Taiwan companies that are joining CES virtually this year, we're also a provider. So they're actually also creating uh, virtual virtual booths. Uh, oh, show. fantastic! So yeah, that's you know, it it is so because I myself. Um, am a professional AV technician in the conference realm. So typically I would be in Vegas doing this and then the next week on the exact same property building a show for right. SAP, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and that's what I did was travel around the country and put on events, things like that. And to see the way that um, things like Real Engine are being leveraged, uh, Second Life, that kind of stuff. Thing, uh, technologies that people had almost kind of forgotten about. Yeah. Where it was like they came along and it was like, cool. What the heck are we going to do with that, dude? Yeah, exactly. Now, exactly. now it's one of those like, yeah, I've, I've even got I've, I've got my own Azure camera over here. When COVID started, me and a buddy started looking at making digital avatars for people to do fully digital conferences. Yeah, you know, that kind of stuff where, yeah, you have a keynote, but that keynote person is a digital avatar. You're in a digital environment that you've created. That's that right. kind of stuff. So um, the fact that y'all are looking into this is, is fantastic and phenomenal. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit more, because, um, of course, with this technology and with this concept comes a crazed field of customization. Um, that would have to be able to exist, correct? Yeah, you 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 think so. Well, the interesting thing is that um, in what we wanted to do is instead of us creating all of this content and uh, you know doing all that customization ourselves for people that want to do this, um, we said, okay, we just need to have a platform so that we empower people to do all of this work and give the control back to them so that they can build it themselves. So we're essentially oh. providing the platform. And then uh, you know they can upload their own content and edit all of their own stuff. Uh, um, you know, edit if, if we're talking about a virtual exhibition here. Say, okay, you know, uh, I have my booth, and now I want to add all of my visuals, so my videos, my uh, information regarding my products, uh, audio services, you know, 360 models, 3D models, whatever you could possibly think of, uh, websites, all put it in there. But instead of us doing it, say, okay, you know, that's also not uh, very efficient. What if we have, you know, like in the case of CES, you have thousands of companies. Uh, we can't all do that, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. So, so uh, all of those companies are basically, you know, they have a, a subscription or, or an account to our platform, and uh, they can do, do all of that work themselves. Now, there are essentially two ways to create the content initially. So you have number one would be you can actually capture uh, uh, physical spaces and upload sure. them. Right, uh, um, 
but you can also have 3D rendered content. Um, and that obviously requires uh, a little bit more manual work and more customization. Yeah. But to sort of speed up that process, what we've done is we've got a database of tons of sort of templates that people can choose from uh, because yeah. it's also difficult when companies go, okay, I want, you know, uh, I have something in mind, but the communication of that back and forth is, is you know, time consuming. Um, yeah. So you have a bunch of templates. Okay, I like that particular template for you know an entrance, and I like that for an exhibition hall, and I like that for you know, uh, or I, I just give. Yeah, this is this is one. our breakout room look. This is our yeah. GA look. All exactly. that kind of stuff, where where the person can uh, you, you know almost digitally walk themselves down the hallway of the facility to the next thing, and maybe even experience something strange along the way. You yes. know, at that point, at that point, that's where some customization comes in and you can have Easter eggs. You can have you can have treasure hunts exactly. in the middle of it to get people in. You know, the same way that they do like, hey, use your phone, scan the QR code. If you get 25 QR codes first, you win this door prize. Exactly. You, know, you exactly. can incorporate the same kind of thing into the digital world to make that interactive and and kind of cue in that human response. Yes, um, yeah, you're right. Because that's one of the, the, the issues, right? It, uh, it's yeah. all that visual stuff. It's it's very immersive, but the the interactivity, the interaction with you know with people in the digital totally. world, I think a lot of companies are still struggling with that, and companies, yeah. people are just struggling. Okay, this is cool, but it's just me. It's just me looking at a screen, you know. Uh, yeah. um, and there needs to be a little bit more than that. I think there are two steps. You have the visual aspect, first of all, to get people engaged, right? I need yeah. to get people to say, okay, I'm interested and I want to learn more. And then you have that interaction say, hey, now I want to talk to someone and I want to be able sure. to, like when I'm walking, right, walking through a uh, through CES uh, um, and, and so you're standing there at your at your booth, uh, you know, and someone is sort of lingering or, you know, you just yeah. walk up to them and say, hey, you know, do you want to learn more or... Uh, and, you know, we are trying to sort of replicate a similar experience online. Now, well, uh, and it's interesting because more than once over the last two days, I have used the phrase of you could not get more CES than this CES. Right. Yes, exactly. You could not. The fact yeah. that everybody now has to equally leverage technology to make CES happen. It's yeah. not just a booth fee. It's not just a passport. It's not just an airline ticket and yes. a hotel stay. You now have to know how to leverage the technology in order to get your point across the same way that you did with the press of flesh and yeah. a really impressive booth exactly. uh, that, that you didn't. Most of the time you didn't build. If it's a big booth, you've got people like me who come out or Freeman labor who you ship your stuff to and you give them the dimensions, then they build it and go, that's right. where you want your screen, right? Okay. See you tomorrow. Um, <laughs> and they're out. So, yeah. The fact that you're trying to build in that human press of flesh that happens at an event like CES, where where you can even have interaction between attendees, not right. just not just between the like you and I can virtually meet because we're both looking at the same virtual booth and go, wow, that's pretty cool. And then we yeah. can go have a virtual cup of coffee and network the same way that we would at CES. Exactly, exactly. So let me ask you a question. You've been doing tons of interviews in the, over, the, over the last mm. week. Uh, what if people, like, what is their, what is their thought? Like, what's, the, what's their experience been? Because this is obviously very new. The, exper the experience has been, um, I think the overall feel is that it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Right, okay. That's, that's the quote. Yeah, right. because it's this, because it's this. For the last two years, I have been investing in nothing but live streaming equipment. That's right. all that my live, my purchases for gear have been going toward. Yeah. And then this happened. And I was literally hearing from my vendors, I would love to sell a live streaming package, Chris. Nobody wants to spend the money. Mm. Nobody wants to spend. And now I guarantee you, you are not having an event without a live stream anymore. Exactly. It's not going to happen. Exactly. And, and when you're talking about how are you going to make that live stream engaging, how are mm -hmm. you going to make that live stream stand out from just a Zoom call like this? It's yeah. technology like what you guys are leveraging over there that's what's yeah. going to do. 
Exactly. Well, it's interesting because all of those questions, we get those on a daily basis. Exactly. Right? And, exactly. Honestly, like, hey, I just don't want I just don't want people dialing into a Zoom meeting for a freaking breakout room. Yeah. You yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. So, like, I mean, people, sorry, yeah. go ahead. No, no, please. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, uh, you're, you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right. You know, and, and I think a lot of the I mean, every day when we when we talk to talk to people, they they just uh, um they're a little scared of it. They're skeptical. Yeah. They don't really yeah. know. You know, they don't. They don't. Oh man, this is going to cost me millions of dollars to get to make this happen. It's not. It honestly. I mean, it's possible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we're sort of. We want to get you into it. We want to get you started. We want to enable you to experience it first. So just yeah. give this a try. You know. Well, and I, I think that that's really where, and that's one of the things that I brought up to my buddy is what we really need to do is have ten skins, and that's it. Yes. Here's option A for a ballroom. Here's option B. Here's a bigger ballroom. We can marry these two together if you want. Exactly. Um, but here's the shape of your ballroom. Whatever colors you want, we can customize that. You exactly. want a basketball hoop over in the right hand side? We can make that happen. Exactly. Um, exactly. But here's the walls. Here's the roof. Here's the dimensions. That's the right. hard part. And That's this is the part where this people are doing. traveling the country to go find the facility that fits the people. And yeah. we want to do this. So we need a 30 foot arch. Who's got a 35 foot ceiling? Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, yeah. Things like that. And when we're doing that with the sort of, that's what we're trying to do with this sort of database, right? To give people, yeah. okay, here you go. Instead of starting from scratch, you know, in six months time, we're still not there. You know, this is the basis. And then they go, oh, okay, this is interesting. This is what I have in yeah. mind. And I'll customize that for me and change the colors and put my logo there and, you know, exactly. make it bigger, make it smaller. Okay, yeah. we can do that, you know? And yeah. uh, not not uh, three months from now, you know, like yeah. next week I'll have a draft ready for you. you know? Well, man, to know that you guys have come out, uh, this is just incredible. It's fantastic. I've literally got like two handfuls of companies that I'm going to be directing your way. With stuff, um, uh, it, even if it's just to to bang heads against walls and see yeah. see how you can help them out, and, um, and you know, because we're we're doing we're also relatively new. We we're not a new company, yeah. but the thing has been launched, uh, you know, like early last year. Um, <laughs> so we're also still learning. You know, like, okay, all of these companies. Okay, how yeah. about this? maybe we could do this. Like, can you you develop that? You know, what about this experience? Because uh, you know, some of these, obviously, the ones that are now doing this, they're. Yeah really really you know excited about it but the possibilities of it and they want to think with us right like, yeah. hey, what what hey, you know, hey. right uh, here man y'all want to hop on a zoom call and round table and just spitball i'm, exactly. I'm down yeah uh, exactly. uh, like i said i've got like a good three concepts that you could sell as simple pre-production for stuff like you wouldn't even have to do the back end if you didn't want to right um, exactly. so yeah. the fact that you guys have come out with a vr AR white label event system yep. is amazing. That's like yeah. being able to go to somebody that's got a white label website builder and go, here's your five templates. Choose which one you want. Plug yeah. and play your plug and play your data. You know, what do you want for a header? Here's your image, you know? So that's yeah. absolutely phenomenal, man. iStaging is the company. Uh, Stefan, Thank you so much for coming on. I am yeah. so excited about this. I'm Thank jazzed. Uh, and, and, man, I'm just totally impressed. Tell everybody where they can go to find out more about iStaging. All right. They can go to iStaging.com uh, to find out more. Um, and you can also connect with me on, on LinkedIn, and I'd be happy to set up a, a, a Zoom call or, or any uh, uh, conference to, to chat. So, uh, yes, that's oh, how I I can guarantee you, you will be getting a LinkedIn connection from me today, my friend. Because exactly. uh, <laughs> this is just too cool. I, yeah. I am glad to know that I am not the only mad scientist. That Absolutely not. Out. Just as crazy. Because <laughs> that's what it takes. That's what it takes. It's only the mad scientists that save us in these situations, folks. Exactly. Yeah, it's the absolutely. people that have the out-of-the-box out solution. Yes. That, that comes out in the longevity of things. So exactly. thank you once again for the time uh, with ice staging and everything else, Stefan. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me on.
I hope you enjoyed that interview, and if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.